limits. Legitimately, here we have the limit as x goes to infinity of that rational expression 3x minus 2 divided by 2x plus 1. What do we need to use? We need to use this guy down here. Ooh, pink. The limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over x is 0. Because your fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until it's eventually approaching 0. So how are we going to use that, you ask? Well, we need to go and we need to multiply by 1. Not just any one, the magic one. If I can multiply once, then I can multiply twice. Is that what 50 was talking about, multiplication? I think he was. Anyways, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 1 over x. Top and bottom by 1 over x. How do I know what to multiply it by? Well, you're going to multiply it by the reciprocal of the highest power here. This <coughs> highest power was 1. That's why I multiply by 1 over x. Yeah. So then it goes, it goes, it goes. Ooh, ooh, and ooh, ooh. it's the distributive property of division under addition. So let's take a look at what that look like after distribution. Sure. That's going to be 3x minus 2 divided by x divided by x, because when I'm distributing in that 1 over x, it goes to each term, and then that's divided by x, divided by x, what's next? They fight, uh, oh, you can't see that, uh, uh, and then you're left with the limit as x goes to infinity of 3 minus 2 over x over 2 plus 1 over x. Now we get to use this property that the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over x is 0. Boom. Guess what? 2 over x also goes to 0. Anything over x goes to 0 as long as the anything is a constant. So this guy it goes to zero, and this guy, it goes to zero, and then after the dust settles, what are you left with? Three over two. And then what? Yeah. Box and flower.